If you want to know the best lesbian movies, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of 2020. I love you, Emma Nolan. Oh my God. <laughs> I love you too. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. Ow. Hey, are you okay? Yes, yeah, got pretty cool. My First Summer is a comedy drama film directed by Katie Found and stars Arthur Angel, Markella Kavanaugh, and Steve Mousakis. Isolation often finds us in a physical way as our bodies are separated from the rest of the world, but it is our isolated minds that really ruin us from the inside. As 16-year-old Claudia spends her days on a remote property without anyone around, her small world is turned upside down when mysterious Grace randomly walks right into her garden. Hello? Mm. Number nine. I was afraid you wouldn't come. What do you want? I'm sorry about what happened. Were you in on it? Emma, you know me. Do I? The Prom is a satirical musical comedy drama fantasy film directed by Ryan Murphy and stars Meryl Streep, James Corden, Nicole Kidman, Keegan-Michael Kay, Joellen Pellman, and Ariana DeBose. For every up, there is a down, and these Broadway stars are in the middle of their lowest low, but that doesn't stop them from shaking up a small Indiana town where conservative PTA bans same-sex couples from attending the annual prom. As they rally behind a teen who wants to go to prom with her girlfriend, their trip becomes more than an image boost. Do you know what it was like standing there in that stupid dress alone in the gym? Knowing that people got together and planned the best way to hurt me. Number eight. We gotta go. If they killed her, they're coming for us next. We don't know they killed her. Karen may have had trouble we didn't know about. Oh, really? Do you believe that? I Care A Lot is a black comedy thriller film written and directed by Jay Blakeson and stars Rosamund Pike, Peter Dinklage, Isa Gonzalez, and Chris Messina. This pitch-black satire shocks audiences with a wicked court-appointed legal guardian who follows a rotten moral code for her own benefit. She uses her knowledge to abuse the helpless elderly, and her latest mark leads to unpredictable consequences when her scam goes horribly wrong. Now she finds herself in a game only predators can play. She's a spider web, and we're gonna get trapped in it. Well, maybe, but maybe not. They brought guns into a care home. They're the Russian mafia, Marla. Ex-Russian mafia. Marla, pack a fucking bag. Number seven. We love you, and... We wish you well. Kajillionaire is a crime comedy drama film written and directed by Miranda July and stars Evan Rachel Wood, Deborah Winger, and Richard Jenkins. Defined by a charmingly bizarre atmosphere, Kajillionaire follows a couple of scammers and thieves who have trained their only daughter to do just like them. But on a ruthless heist, they invite a stranger to join them, leaving them in a pipeline of chaos where their whole world is turned upside down as their next move becomes increasingly dangerous. They're monsters and this whole night was a lie, okay? But if it's there, then this is all real. You'll believe that. Number six. You look tired. I always look tired. You look after me like your child. Ammonite is a romantic drama film written and directed by Frances Lee and stars Kate Winslet, Saoirse Ronan, and Gemma Jones. Led by a chemistry to never forget and a tragic romance that will strike deep into your heart, Ammonite is the story of two women who, despite all social boundaries and norms in the 1840s, form an intense relationship. As they hide the truth from their husbands and friends, the women's social spheres collapse over a secret that is too fragile to see the light of day. You don't have any? Well, a lot of questions. I might have preferred it when you were unconscious. No. Number five. Come with me. Where? To my parents' house for Christmas. Oh, really? Happiest Season is a romantic comedy drama film directed by Clea Duvall and stars Kristen Stewart, Mackenzie Davis, and Aubrey Plaza. 
This hilarious lesbian family drama begins with known tropes, such as the daughter who hasn't come out yet to her conservative family, but combines them with fresh ideas and a great cast. As long-term lesbian couple Abby and Harper attempt to visit Harper's family over Christmas, Abby is unsure about her status in the family, since their relationship was a secret until now. What are you doing out there? Harper! Are you peeping? Don't peek at me! No, God! Oh. Are you okay? I'm so great! Here, 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 come on, she's coming! Go, oh, run! I, yeah, you better run, pervert! Who said you could come downstairs? Number four. That dress look nice. Uh -huh. I'm gonna take you tomorrow to get you some things before I take you down to Memphis. Ma Rainey's Black Bottom is a biographical musical drama film directed by George C. Wolfe and stars Viola Davis, Chadwick Boseman, Glenn Turman, and Coleman Domingo. Framed by ultimate powerhouse performances and the legacy of icon Chadwick Boseman, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom is the exploration of passion for music, the greed that comes with success, and the conflict defining artistic personalities. Following 1920s band musicians over an afternoon of recording, the film explores how the group splits from the inside over dark secrets that see the light of truth. I just need me some new shoes. These hurt my feet. Oh, don't you be messing around with no shoes that pinch your feet. Ma knows something about bad feet. Number three. Mom, this is Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Nice to meet you. You too. Oh, no. <laughs> Dating Amber is a comedy drama film directed by David Frein and stars Fiona O'Shea, Lola Pettigrew, Sharon Horgan, and Barry Ward. It's one thing to figure out your true self and sexuality when growing up. It's another to be yourself in the face of judgment and skepticism. Eddie and Amber are two homosexual teens who decide to stage a relationship in order to keep away from their sexual identity. But when their friendship is tested by future plans, their bond might be destroyed. I hope you like chicken, Kiev. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm actually vegetarian. Number two. You miss him. You are allowed to. Summerland is a drama film written and directed by Jessica Swale and stars Gemma Arterton, Gugu Mbatha Ra, Lucas Bond, and Dixie Egerick. In this moving journey of womanhood, love, and friendship, we follow Alice, who is a writer resigned to a solitary life on the seaside cliffs of England while World War II rages across the channel. When she opens her front door one day to find she's to adopt a young London evacuee named Frank, she's resistant. But there is something about their pasts the two have in common. I think you're remarkable. To get by with no one. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Do you want to dance? Yeah. Maybe not in there. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty shit. <laughs> Bye, mommy. Found it. Oops. <laughs> I'm me. <laughs> Scheiße. That day was going to be the day when I told you how I felt, and you just dismissed me. I didn't dismiss you. Yes, you did. You were who I heard in all the love songs and who I got cute for, like dressed up for at school. I mean, you knew how important you were to me. Number one. I'm Ali Chu. Yes, I know. You've only been playing my dad's services every Sunday for like four years. The Half of It is a 2020 coming-of-age comedy drama film written and directed by Alice Wu and stars Leah Lewis, Daniel Dimer, and Alexis Meyer. This deep and incredibly entertaining coming-of-age story has absolutely everything for fans of teenage drama who seek an uncommonly smart and tender exploration of youth. We follow an introverted student who, despite being shy, helps the school jock get a girl whom they both secretly want resulting in a part hilarious, part refreshing way to build the typical love triangle in a satisfying way. Remains of the day. Loved it. All that barely repressed longing.
Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.